people, Martin from Ahmed here again. Same place, same people. Well, just because this is my favorite place. And uh, as you see, it's already evening when I'm recording this video. And that's again, it's the reason is because during the daytime, it's really hot here and everybody is sitting at home under the, in the air conditioned rooms and trying to not dig their noses out or if we're going out then it's it should be a really really serious reason we're going out and another thing is i've been trying to record this video in different places but this is my favorite i don't know why but it feels like my place As you see, salt season is continued. A couple of rainy days are over and uh, people can continue all the salt farming again. So I'm happy about that. Some income for them. The, the mountains looks greener now because it's always like that. It's like even we got only one day of the rain, everything becomes greener. The trees and the grass and everything. So it looks good. Laura did a night dive yesterday and she found this, this beautiful nodded branks and, uh, and, and then I immediately understood that it's a season coming now, it's a time and uh, last year um, Marcin, one of my instructor candidates, came back from the snorkeling and he showed me this photo the thousands of them and uh, probably if you've been following us in our dive center then you already saw this photo but um, so I'm just posting it here again so it was incredible I never seen so many nodded branks in one place that later on we saw that uh, the, the, the youngsters growing up is like not that colorful it's like a br like a gray color but yeah so Laura already uh, went out today for the day dive, the morning dive, and she tried to find them out. She found there is a lot of, in, in one place, there is a lot of eggs. So the girl's going out now again, so trying to find these nodded branks. I, I really, I really want to see them again. It's like you cannot imagine. It's, yeah, you now you can imagine because you saw the photo, but it's it's incredible i never seen so many nodi branks in one place and yeah and it's all on a house reef when we will open again so we will have this uh probably the package for everyone who can prove that they have at least 300 dives and uh so buddies i mean one buddy 300 another one and we will allow to do the uh short dives uh, just here it's a macro site I don't expect it's something incredible you have to have a, a eyes to find something but that's something we're planning so you can just grab the tank go in the water do your photography stuff the dives will be really cheap because there's no any dive guides we have to pay or any fees so you just go in do your stuff come back all we want to know all we want to make sure you are okay so that's why we will require some particular amount of the experience which we can measure in dives <laughs> it looks like today will be amazing sunset i have to be on my spot again there they are going we have a really loyal bali dogs gathering people on a beach have fun Thank you. oh it 
some fish he can. It's a traveling. That's the big guy, Trevely. Someone is lucky today. Busy, busy today. <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello. Uh -huh. Every day. Okay, cool. It's nice Great. editing, eh? You edit a lot? Yeah, I edit. <laughs> it's nice. Okay, cool. See you. Nice to see you. It was Next nice time, to see you. Come here, sit, drink. Yeah. Okay. Play guitar. Play guitar, yeah. I have a guitar. Okay. okay. Bali people are so so open they are always smiling they uh, just imagine me walking around with this camera and just digging it everywhere and filming everything they never complain they're just smiling and so open and uh, always ready to tell the story I i'm super happy about that thing was talking to my friend today they are in the philippines and they said the Philippines gonna be closed until September 21. So it's next year, September. Poor guys. The, the island where they are, it's gonna be closed until 2022. Like, oh my gosh. It's like a kind of crazy. When we moved to the Philippines 2009, um, that the one of the things and, and the story is that if you remember from the previous episode uh, I told that I swam to promote tourism in the Philippines and at that moment it was uh, it was a world crisis and it was a time when the Philippines was really standing up and started to promote tourism because they understood that uh, really good source of the income for the country and for the people they started promoting then there there was this uh, more fun in the philippines came up they were participating in uh, so many diving shows all around the world and they really tried out and so i'm sorry yeah so that's our boat captain so I'm sorry <laughs> Uh, no, no, not tomorrow. No, just chilling out, recording videos. So yeah, and um, so Philippines wasn't that popular for like, for example, when I lived in Latvia, I didn't know that the Philippines can be so good. My understanding about the Philippines was that it's all damaged reefs because there's a lot of dynamite fishing and. Uh, nothing really to see there but then 2009 8 March I went there and I was so impressed actually because the diving was good and that's why I decided actually to go to the Philippines and within this 11 years Philippines um, grow so big actually as a tourism country tourism destination country and now what they are going to do they're just going to ruin it instead of sinking and, and investing the money and, uh, and energy into the way how to find out how to save the tourism now they're just, just closing it for the international tourism What are you doing today? Hot? Ah, oh, it is hot. Okay, see you. So whatever, we stay positive here. And um, don't worry about us. We, I don't know, I think we just reached the moment, we, we reached that breaking point when it's like kind of our normal life already. So whenever we got some job and little job and we can survive, right? So um, I'm just a little bit worried more about the local people, but they're also supporting each other and kind of okay. 
I've seen some of my uh, like people who've been working for me as a uh, drivers and that stuff they try to sell me a cars and that thing but it's just because they have some they leasing these cars or they they have a, like a debt in the bank so so that's the thing and uh, so that's why they trying to sell it but otherwise everything feels pretty quiet uh, it's a little bit more stress in the Changu and the Kuta there's a lot of people because it's pretty packed with the people that place and all of these people now stays without the job and now there is a there is a lot of stories about the, especially the the girls driving motorbikes and they get pushed off the bikes and uh, and and someone stole their bags with all the phones uh, cards money and phones everything right so there's a lot of these stories but here in Ahmed it's quiet because it's really Balinese place right so there's no uh, Balinese really take care about their karma they, they, they always think twice before they do something bad okay guys someone is calling me thank you very much for watching um, as always we'll repeat it follow us on Instagram and Facebook and don't forget to subscribe See you tomorrow again. Bye.